What's up guys, it's Cameraman Pokemon, and today we have something really cool. We have uh, the Glaceon V-Star and the Levion V-Star. I'll, um, I'll give them a close-up right now. Let's have a close-up. Look at these amazing new products. They shouldn't be released, um, I think, until the end of January. Um, they have the new V-Star uh, promo card. Um, and I think it's just a new rarity as well. It uh, replaces the Dynamax. And yeah, I got really lucky. So uh, I'm going to open these up. Let us uh, look at the Leafeon before we do. Here's the Leafeon. And just like its sister, the Glaceon. Just a beautiful box. I I can't wait to open this up and look at the V-Star, the new rarity, up and close. And uh, yeah, we're going to do that in a minute. But wow, these boxes are beautiful. And I... I got really lucky. I think I'm the first one on YouTube probably to open this and I haven't posted in a while. So yeah, let's um, let's open these two up and see what we can get. All right, we opened up the boxes. Uh, let's look at Glaceon first and let's start with the regular V. So um, this is the new V promo. Already sleeved them up uh, just because I wanted to make sure they're safe and sound. Frost charge. Short your deck for one energy card and attach it to this Pokemon, then shovel your deck. That sounds pretty good. I'm actually going to start playing the TC8, uh, TCG game a little bit more. I'm mainly a collector, but um, yeah, I don't know. I, uh, I kind of got the itch. And I might start with these new V-Stars, because this is new, guys. This is a new rarity type. Um, I think it uh, replaces the V-Maxes, or replaces is it's, it's kind of the new rarity that was V-Max before. So you have V-Star power, and for Glaceon, this is during your opponent's next turn, prevents all damage from an effect of attacks done to this Pokemon. Okay. You can use more than one V-Star power in the game. So it's a one time, and then you're done. This card looks really good. Really, really cool. Um, I think it's, uh, yeah, really, I really like the design on this. This is, uh, is going to be with the new set. I think it releases today in Japan, actually. Uh, the new V stars as well, uh, but uh, brilliant stars. I think it's brilliant stars with the new Charizard that everybody's gonna go crazy about. Um, but it, re it releases end of February. Brilliant stars, I think. Um, but here you have a sneak peek of the new V stars, and this is Leafeon. Also, pretty cool artwork. Not the biggest fan of Leafeon or Glaceon. I think they're my least favorite evolutions, but. Um, yeah, still really nice promos. And let's look at the V-Star. Of course, you get the two promo cards in the box. Ooh, I like this one. I really like the glare on it. Um, and this V-Star power, IV star <laughs> almost sounds like IV star During your turn, you may switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. Okay, so it's kind of like a, a switch or a boss's order. I'm not sure if boss's order is the one that switches your Pokemon, but that, that sounds pretty strong. I think that uh, might be very useful. But you can only use it once, so not sure about that. But if you, um, no, it's not one time. Sorry, I'm reading the thing again. But you can, so you can only use one V star. So even if you have three Levions, you cannot do it three times. You can only do it once. So not sure if how powerful that would be. But I will figure out if I start playing the game. So you get the big jumbos, and also you get this one. Um, so that's kind of I think the introduction of the new rarity, the V stars. Come on guys, stay up there. And then in terms of packs for both, pretty nice. You get two Evolving Skies. Uh, I'm gonna keep the code cards. Two Evolving Skies and two Fusion Strikes. So we have uh, four of each. And let's start with Evolving Skies. So let's start with that. Let's start with that. So it has been a while since I opened up a pack on camera. Um, so I'm gonna be a little bit rough with this. Although this is pretty smooth, this is pretty smooth. No, it's not, no, it's not. So let's look at what we can get. So code card, I'm gonna keep. I'm sorry if you're a code card hunter, but uh, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna try to play the game. So we get an energy card, Floet, Boldor. We got Aroma Lady, Tentacle. We got Pumpkaboo, Bagon. We got a Love Disc, C Dot. Oh, I love C Dot. Oh, Feebas, very cool. And, oh my God, we get a Gordy. 
Gordy, Gordy, Gordy. Uh, I don't think this is anybody's favorite, but it's a, a, a trainer full art, so that's definitely not bad. It's leaving you up, Gordy. Um, I don't collect trainer full arts. Uh, I'm not one of those persons that uh, collect full art trainers, so I'm gonna. That one is gonna be up for sale on my card market uh, in a bit. Um, I had to make some decisions uh, in uh, my collecting uh, habits. And uh, I decided uh, that full art trainers are not one of them. So uh, selling that will allow me to, um, yeah, buy a different card, right? So it's a different card for my collection if I sell Gordy. But I don't think it's Gordy is going for much. Saru, so, Chronicle, Petlil. We got a Skip Long Reverse. And we got a Zygarde. And this is a Hollow. Very nice. I don't have this. And this is Evolving Skies. I opened a lot of Evolving Skies, but I don't think I have side cards. So I'm happy with any hollow or any card that I don't have in my collection. Uh, and that's one that's one's gonna keep. That's definitely going in my binder. Collecting the Pokemon versions, but trainer rares, I don't. I'm actually um I sold a lot of my trainer cards. I had a lot because uh in the beginning I did not have that specific focus for my collection but i decided to sell them um as i uh, yeah i just had to make some decisions right it's a uh, pokemon is definitely not a cheap hobby and i uh, decided to sell them and with that i bought a lot of alt arts from the latest sets and uh just some cards that were on my wish list uh yeah and here we go the rare an altaria regular rare so nothing too crazy but i do like how my camera looks uh, I have, again i haven't filmed for over a year uh, I might not even continue filming after this, but uh, I saw these um, in my order and I was very surprised. Is this for? This is for that we got something uh, already from the V Star collection. So I decided, hey, let's let's share it with the world. Um, if you're not into spoilers, don't click the video. But uh, I decided to share it and uh, just for fun and kind of fun to open up cards on camera again. It's a different feeling than open up cards by yourself. Do we have something? We have a Salamence Hollow. So we end up evolving skies with a Hollow. Um, already have this card, but Salamence is definitely a definitely a cool Pokemon. And I think it got like a fee card. It was Darkness of Blaze. Was that with Salamence? Um, I can't remember. I think it was Darkness of Blaze. So Fusion Strike, I haven't opened up a lot. So. Um, it's actually after celebrations, uh, I spent a lot of money on celebrations and I was looking at my bank account and said, ah, I gotta, I gotta skip something because yeah, Pokemon is so expensive and I decided to skip Fusion Strike. There are some cards that I want, uh, the Gengars, all the Gengars I really want. Um, I was thinking about getting the Muse, but man, those Muse are expensive, so I'm not gonna hunt for those Muse. We got Onyx Reverse and... We get a Latios non-hollow. Um, so I'm not going to hunt for those Mews or try to buy them as singles. But they do look really good. I, I think the Mews are definitely uh, very cool uh, to get. But I'm going to focus on the Gengars. I haven't bought them because I knew I was going to buy these products. So before buying singles, um, I decided to open up this first. So if I don't get Gengar <laughs> out of the packs I'm opening up in the next couple of days... I will buy Gengar, uh, or I might wait a little bit because the prices drop after a couple of months. Oh, Seora. I do like this Pokemon a lot. I think it's uh, it's not talked about a lot. I'm not sure if it's a legendary or mythical. I think it's a legendary, but uh, I kind of like it. It's a cool electric tiger cat. So this one is always <laughs> messing with me. So I'm, I'm holding it like this because Mew is then looking up to you. But uh, yeah, it's upside down. But yeah, guys, um, if you watch my channel or you follow my channel, oh, I knocked the camera out a little bit. There you go. If you follow my channel a year ago and uh, you're like, hey, this is funny, you're back. Uh, I might not be back. I just decided to do this and uh, have some fun. I have a busy job. I have a wife. I have a kid. I have zero time. But these boxes came in and work is a little bit slow today. So I was like, what the heck? Let's try something. Come on, Fusion Strike. Give me something. Ooh, Toxicroak. Haven't. I didn't open up a lot of um, Fusion Strike, so I didn't see a lot of cards, but I do love this one. This is a very cool card, to be honest. Awesome. So, last pack already, and that, that would be it for the Fusion, um, Fusion Strike.
Strike, Evolving Skies, Glaceon, Alephion opening. If you enjoyed it, um, I want to say hit the subscribe button, but you might not get a lot of content from me. So I'm not sure if you subscribe, but uh, hit the like button if you liked it. That would be uh, appreciated. I, I don't matter. It doesn't matter, really. I'm just doing this for fun and sharing it. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching if you watched it. And hopefully um, you learned a little, about, a little bit about these cards and can make a decision if you want to buy them. I, I'm very happy. They look amazing. The Feast Star, I'm hyped now for Billion Stars. So last pull. Ah, we did. We got the other one. We got Ladia. So um, nothing too crazy. We did get the Gordy, but uh, I'm not very hyped about that. So let's finish off with these two. Um, yeah, V Star, the new uh, new typing in Pokemon. It's releasing. I'm not sure if I'm going to post this video on the same date, but I think if it's today, the the 13th of January, uh, as I pull this. It's also live in um, Japan, the, the new set, and it will come to February and uh, in the rest of the world. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, let me know if you're excited about the new Feastar concept. And if you think it's it's good in the, in the meta or in the in the, in the TCG game, if you, if you think it's a good addition to it, because as I mentioned, I'm going to start, so um, happy to learn from you guys. This was Cameraman Pokemon. I'm out!